what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video uh it's about the boosted 370z yes it's boosted now last time you guys saw it, it was um getting the turbo installed and it was pretty much almost done all it needed was to get fine-tuned it's done <laughs> Um, I didn't record me going to get it because I had forgotten my camera. That's the main reason why. But also, I just wanted to enjoy the car for a couple of days before I made a video on it. That way I can give my initial thoughts. And the first thought I have is fucking ridiculous. It's crazy. It's uh, definitely the fastest car I've ever owned. Fucking, oh my god, I love it, man. Let me just turn it on for you guys right now. It sounds so good. Also, I got the windshield replaced. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed in a couple of videos when we had the car, the windshield was cracked and I got it replaced yesterday. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> it's on 85 now. done I've been waiting for this thing to be done for a minute I got a couple of people's reactions already to the car um, but yeah I'm fucking hyped on this thing being finished definitely look at that just look at that but yeah guys uh, I'm gonna run you guys through my initial thoughts on the car uh, it's really good it makes really good power. Boost kicks in around 4,000 or 4,500 RPM. Now the big question you guys are probably asking is how much horsepower does the car make? But uh, I don't have a fucking clue how much it makes because it was tuned through email tune. It was street tuned basically uh, through EQTech by RS Enthalpy. Um, the reason for that was uh, Saul, you know, Saul's a great tuner, awesome tuner, but um, I just decided to switch it up this time, go with RS, and I know I have a couple of friends that are tuned by him, so I also uh, asked them for their initial thoughts, and they told me I should do it, so that's what we did, we went with RS Anthropy, Martin, as some of you guys know him by his name. Uh, car is phenomenal, works great right now. Uh, the past two days, I've enjoyed it. The noises are fucking ridiculous. Now about the horsepower, I'm assuming it makes, cause I have three maps, low boost, high boost, and I have a mid boost as well. I think low boost, if I have only driven the car on low boost so far. In my opinion, it makes around 400 to 450. And then I think mid boost is probably gonna be like 450 to five. And maybe the high boost is almost probably like 550 around there. I'm not too sure about that, but that's what I'm thinking. Like I said again, I haven't ran the car in high boost or mid boost. I'll let you guys know whenever I do, and then I'll let you know how I feel about it. But yeah, this is how the car sits right now currently driving it on low boost so I get comfortable and then I'll go to mid and then high when I get used to them um, but yeah the car is done and it's fucking running a hundred percent so happy with it like just look at this thing it looks so fucking clean man look at that it looks so good oh but yeah, I'm going to put the clips of that Mendes sent me or recorded for me. I know you guys don't like that I'm having pretty much, he's pretty much running the channel right now with the videos. 
But I mean, he explains everything better than me. And he's there, you know. <clears throat> he can tell you exactly what he's doing. For those of you that like going into detail with uh, these type of things. But yeah, I'm gonna put those clips in right now and then we'll do the outro for the video. Yo, uh, what up? I'll be forgetting I need to be recording. Yeah. I've been driving this car for like almost 200 miles already. I've had no issues with this at all. Temps always stay good. And yeah. All, all I really need is a uh, overnight. And yes, also does have a radio. So I'm listening to music on the iPad. And yes, I don't have a phone. That's why I'm carrying this big ass iPad. But yeah. So far, so good on this car. I like it. I'm gonna dig to this car. I might just keep it, to be honest. But yeah, we're breaking it in until it's fully broken into. So we dial it into it and finalize it. I get this thing for power, really. That's about it. So yeah. Gotta keep it under 4K, to be honest. So, yeah. Yo, what up, guys? Just showing y'all a warmed up idol from Sosa single turbo top mount turbo kit. On a 270 Z Nismo. Showing y'all the cars now. That was an A1. Cooling temperature 194. Let's see. Oil temp still at 140. Started up not too long ago. I had to check the battery. Uh, let's see. Any codes? I may have one for like cold start stuff. Yep. That's for the radio, or the thermostat, whichever you have like that. So yeah, let's see what focus is. You do nothing. It doesn't affect performance or anything like that. Yeah, nothing else. Let's see? But yeah, gotta break it in 500 miles, so when it hits a 6,000 something miles, uh, we'll be tuning it and sending it. Yep. Last time I recorded, it was whenever he, he had open downpipe. Now he has the Tome single exit attached to it. Sounds so good. It's not loud or anything like that. We still haven't got a coolant uh, reservoir as of right now. So we still ride around with the bottle. So, we still ride around with the bottle. It's still good. We got power steering. We got everything like a street car. Everything's looking good. Take a look at that fuel pressure. See your focus is perfect. Look at that turbo spin. Yep, yep. There's is A1. Looking good. Looking fresh. I also gave it a wash. I forgot to record it when I went to go do that. But yeah. So you gotta break it in. And yeah, that's about it. But yep, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, leaving off where Mendes left off he pretty much uh, had a break in the car with about 500 miles and then that way he can uh, break in the cams that we put in because we did put June cams in 272 June cams and then after that uh, also had a break in the new clutch and flywheel um, so yeah because of that he had a break it in for 500 miles after that he got into tuning it with Martin um, aka RS Santo P after that pretty much he gave me the car when it was ready and uh, yeah I'm just gonna show you guys the stuff that he did that he didn't record the car is running on four maps uh, but before we get to the maps I want to um, show you guys he put in the coolant reservoir um, he let me get this one off of him and uh, yeah he put all the lines in and everything he organized everything how it is now he put the front bumper back on and all the carbon pieces that I had on it and the hood he put everything back how it was um, he did modify a couple of my parts like the uh, this carbon piece he had to cut out a little bit because of this part right here I believe that's for the boost if I'm correct I don't know exactly what it is for I'll have to ask him 
He also had a cutout right there in the middle for the fueling. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, other little modifications he had to do. It looks so goddamn good. So goddamn good. I'm so fucking happy with how it turned out. It looks fucking badass with the whole intercooler popping out in the middle. Saying Nismo. It's so fucking badass. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, it looks sick. I wish I put this, the the lettering a little bit more lower. It did sit better on the other bumper, as you guys saw previously in a way a couple videos back. But yeah, cars come out, came out good. It drives good. Also, guys, before I go, there is some issues that popped up. Um, while he had the car, this is not his fault. This is all like things that just happened. My power steering went out, so I have to replace it with a new one. Um, I think it's the power steering pump that's going out. Uh, but I probably have to replace it with a new one. So in some of these videos, you might hear it whine. Um, or might have heard it whine, depending on where I put this clip in. But yeah, um, some of the... You're going to hear some whining um that's due to the power steering issue also speakers fucking still fucked up i don't know if i mentioned this in any of the other videos that i've recorded in this video of, of this car in the past but yeah these speakers are fucking fucked and i can't play music i need to fix that because i love listening to music while i drive i'm currently driving the car right now to work um hopefully it doesn't rain a day it's supposed to rain um, at like six, seven-ish at night. Hopefully it doesn't rain, or if it does, it only rains very little, so I can make it home. Ouch, y'all heard that. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, just a few issues with the car. Just hear this. Oh my God. Oh, I got a check engine light that popped up right now. That does not sound good. If it went away, then what the fuck? Huh. I don't know. But, yeah, guys. Um, I'll probably talk to uh, Mendez about that. Yeah, I was in fifth, uh, fourth gear. Hmm. You hear that? That sounds so good. Initial thoughts about the kit. The dock racing kit. It's really good when you put it in. It's, it's a solid kit. It's just it has a lot of issues with fitting um, fitting the kit on. It's supposed to be a direct bolt-on kit. Uh, but from what I've heard from my friend that had it, you have to cut some pipes down. They're too big or too long, um, as he would say. It, it's too long, so you have to cut some of them down. Luckily, I bought it used, so all the other flaws weren't there. But yeah, uh, is it worth it if you find one? No, I don't think so. Uh, from what Mendez tells me, it's a pain in the ass to install, especially on the hot side of things. Uh, it's really, really tight. You can't really work on this thing when it comes to the hot side. It's hard to install. I believe that's probably one of the many reasons why they discontinued the kit. Now, if you want a kit that's very similar, easier to put on and possibly you'll make more power out of it i would recommend the soho's the soho uh top mount kit it's it's, in, it's located it's almost in the same spot i believe it's a little bit more forward uh from where my turbo sits rightfully so because i wasn't able to put on my oil catch can slash coolant reservoir that i got from soho because of how the kit sits right now so that's one also kind of like downfall i couldn't use that but i would recommend the soho motorsports uh top mount kit if you guys want a kit similar to it or i believe switchback makes a kit for it that's top mount as well if y'all guys know alpha z34 i think his kit is a switchback i forgot don't quote me on it if you guys want to see it 
he posted on his channel uh, that's my homeboy that sold me the uh, dock racing kit he loved the kit and uh, he honestly I think he would have kept it if it wasn't for him wanting more power it's what just the facing your face facing my face yeah hi hello all right okay is this gonna scare me I don't know it depends on you it's probably gonna it's gonna freak me out man get out of me head <laughs> Bono, Bono warming up the tires, warming up the tires. You have to, bro. No, I know, I know. Now it's actually necessary. Nah, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Everything that's being recorded is in uh, Jalisco. Um, fucking, <laughs> we we live in Zacatecas. That's where we are. Like, uh... <laughs> oh! I hate this bridge because the fucking bump, bro. Fucking cut off sound. Oh, it's beautiful. This thing sounds fucking beautiful, man. God damn! <laughs> that fucking. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> brother. That was fucking crazy. Try not to shit your pants. <laughs>
turn it up? Through my phone. Wow.